Hey viewers, welcome to another game of the Casual Pro Gamer. Today we're doing a Teemo game from I Know Low Bob, and I will put his YouTube thingy name in the description if I don't forget, because he wanted me to do that, so I am going to. Anyway, uh, he is around 1500 to 1600 ELO, and um, we will see what a difference that makes. Starting off with the Dorn's Blade here. By the way, I um, I went through my uh, my email box today once more. I have a lot, a lot, a lot of replays that you guys sent me, and I decided to uh, instead of g just going for like the first replay I get, to first select the and people who, who sent me replays game. that don't have any games on my uh, channel yet. So. This game uh, was is, is one of those examples. I have a lot of Timo games on my channel already, and I am um, hey that's a good idea. Um, I actually decided to cast games from from people who don't have any yet, and this guy sent me one game, and it was a Timo game. So even though I have played a lot of Timo myself, we will now see someone else play it and. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that for today and probably tomorrow. And after that I will go back to getting uh, every champion at least in one game. So I will be doing some duplicates, especially Yorick, because Yorick is really popular for, uh, by people who want to get, well, just a video on or one of their games on my uh, channel. So if you have any champion that you want me to cast, and you haven't got any video on my uh, my channel yet, just send it to me and please include in the title that you, you which which champion you're playing because I don't want to do um, too many of the same champion in a row but also because I can then just pre-select them and if it's a 3v3 mention that as well because I pre-select or prioritize 3v3s as well as we will see in the next game. The next game will be a 3v3. And um, yeah, I'm trying to do a lot of games today. I have uh, about four hours left and I already did one. I did the Leona game today and I'm doing about one game an hour at the moment. So that means I can get quite a lot of games going. I think I'll upload this one in 750p instead of 1080 because it's about half the time and I just want to uh, to get some games out there well we see a little bit of lag here that's because I'm uploading a game now I'm assuming so basically it's buffering and then all of a sudden it's uh, it's lagging something like that I'm not entirely sure what it, where it comes from and as we see uh, yeah, Timo doing a good job of of last hitting, but well, we would expect that from someone at 15 to 1600 ELO. And Soraka just standing in the bushes, doing nothing, g gaining experience. That is the way to play Soraka normally. I almost never play like that. I know I'm supposed to not get the minion kills, but yeah, the champions or the the summoners, I should say, in um, in my ELO are not able to get all of the last hits and yeah I'm just picking up last hits wherever I can then and with Soraka it's difficult enough so you're going to have to rely on a little bit of luck in uh, hitting them exactly at the right point but I am hitting them in order to get some last hits and I would have definitely pushed this lane because with only Ash there it's basically a 2v1 situation and you can easily win that. So anyway, it's um, a Soraka and Timo versus Sona and Ash. And Ash hasn't been able to farm up a whole lot because Timo has been harassing pretty well. Well, every now and then. But um, it is really difficult to prevent Ash from, uh, from harassing. But that's what Soraka is there for. She can uh, she can do some extra damage on the Ash, and we will see zero 
and 26 and Ash is actually at 16 so already behind and as you can see Timo is not pushing the lane he is just attacking the minions at the last possible moment and um, missing one every now and then obviously but it is really something you need to work on so learning how not to push the lane and still get all of the last hits well we see Timo yeah getting into kind of a little fight but he can because he has Soraka and Soraka has amazing healing and yeah by using that amazing healing you can uh, take a little bit of damage during the uh, the laning phase and during harassment attempts like that one didn't actually take any damage there and he's just using the blinding dart plus uh, basic attack to do as much damage on Ash as he can without getting any damage back on him because with the blinding dart uh, as soon as it hits Ash cannot hit you so pretty nice and I think that Soraka could actually go to mid lane and help out there a little bit because Timo is doing such an awesome job of staying alive that Soraka can actually do well some extra things and doesn't really need to be here all the time and yeah Soraka level 4 now so that's the advantage of having uh, Soraka in the bush that she just levels up and it doesn't really matter too much that she uh, she doesn't have gold but she will have to go back at some point to uh, to get the f sorcerer no philosopher's stone <sighs> just had the audiobook of um, Harry Potter on my uh, computer so and that's called the sorcerer's stone but anyway um yeah, that's how she gets gold, and that's also how uh, this guy should get his gold. Although he, the Sona, does have two of the uh, the Maki no fairy charms, and that normally means mana manipulator. Although that is not an item that gives you gold. Normally, it's very good to have gold. So anyway, I'm not going to discuss uh, the skill. Oh yeah, well, I might. I mean, yeah, just to complete the series. Uh, first of all, Camouflage, his innate ability. Uh, after standing standing around for two seconds, he stealths. Uh, as soon as you attack or move or use a skill, you uh, become visible again and you have to wait two more seconds to become invisible once more. Uh, you can still be damaged by uh, AoE spells, you can of course be targeted if someone has either a pink ward or an oracle's elixir. But for the rest you're pretty safe. So it is a good uh, mechanism for uh, pulling off ganks, uh, also escaping, not from a gank because well you cannot stand, stand somewhere for two seconds. but. There are situations in which you can use it to prevent your opponents from finding you. Then first of all the blinding dart Q. Um, it is uh, just damage and a blind. So that's exactly what the title says. And blind makes your uh, f the physical attacks of your opponent miss or just the basic attacks probably. Probably just the basic attacks. And it is very useful against someone like Ash. There are plenty more champions like that, um, but it's not very useful against the uh, yeah the, 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 the AP champions, so the magic damage champions that rely on their spells and yeah the casters in general. Then um, W the move quick. Uh, this is normally one of the two spells that people take. Normally, blinding dart is left at one level, just like here. And then move quick is leveled up uh, very far or very early and toxic shot is leveled up pretty early. Well move quick does exactly what it says. It does no damage. Yay! It um, gives you a passive uh, speed boost 
uh, movement speed boost and it also gives you an active movement speed boost so both of them pretty well uh, caught in the title of move quick and um, yeah then toxic shots also does exactly what it says it adds poison to your uh, to your darts to your basic attacks poison that doesn't stack there are poisons that do stack as I was told no I actually knew that but uh, I forgot it because well we have um, uh, come on gangplank as well as twitch uh, those poisons do stack but normally in any game you look at as soon as it's called poison you are either poisoned or you're not poisoned and that is the case with Timo. So also with his... Um, uh, oh, it does add some uh, damage on impact. And that is very useful if you're going for attack speed. Because then you are doing... Well, it, it basically adds to your uh, attack damage. But it doesn't add to your lifesteal capabilities. So even if you have lifesteal, you cannot get the life back from the uh, poison damage the on impact poison damage that is and yeah taking out one mushroom here because he showed her where it was but there's still a second one there and it's next to the minions so the minions are not going to take it out because you really don't want that with AD Teemo and there's a four person gang coming in so that means that they should really push top turret there's nothing they can do about this uh, maybe this guy can escape oh come on don't lag now and no actually both of them get killed but that means that top lane should have been pushed but instead they're all coming bottom and yeah this said uh, this could have easily been called. I mean, the jungler, yeah, you cannot help that. And yeah, this is a complete waste of ultimate on uh, on fiddlesticks. So hopefully they will still pick up some kill at some point. Yeah, so Sona actually goes down, making it a one for two trade. But yeah, not very good, especially since this guy is now going to take out his turrets. And yeah. Oh, they actually. Wow, and he uh, ran into a mushroom. So they act they actually got a two for two trade then. Ah, that's that's not bad. But they did lose a turret. Yeah, that's what what you get for getting a four v one gang here up uh, in the bottom, or in this case, a uh, four v three gang or 3v3 something, 3v4, I don't know. Uh, at least the whole team was down and um, this guy, oh what's your name dude? Trundle. Trundle actually uh, just kept pushing top lane and got the turrets. And although it's not a huge deal, it is still a big deal. So they do get the dragon, it's almost stolen by Ash but they should have a jungler with smite yeah and he yeah he, it was a really late smite and they could have lost it there you should really use the smite at the moment you can in fact you should use all of the um, massive damage spells on, on dragon and baron at the last possible moment so in Timo's case that would be blinding dart in um, Nunu's case that would be consume but you really need to prevent your opponents from stealing it and especially in the higher levels that is a big problem and I wonder why uh, yeah he did it so late in this case I was just wondering why, where Soraka was but she's here and she should really come back into one of the lanes at least. 
Well, we see him protecting his mushroom. That's why he's taking all this damage. He wants to keep this mushroom alive because he doesn't doesn't need it at this moment. He needs it when someone comes in to uh, to do damage to him. Oh, when you come out of stealth, by the way, uh, you get increased attack speed by 40%, which is a whole lot. And yeah, that helps. So. Before I get uh, disrupted, I was discussing the skills, and I only need to do DR, the ultimate. The ultimate is placing these mushrooms, which do poison, uh, which once again doesn't stack. So even if you put 16 mushrooms in the same spot, uh, it does exactly the same damage. So uh, it does poison damage plus it slows, and you can use both effects for uh, getting a kill. And a DT mode normally uses more of the slow than the uh, the poison damage, because the poison damage is more of an AP thing. You need to increase your AP, and yeah, you don't need to face check with Timo. Okay, so Fiddle coming in to get this kill on Annie. Come on. Yeah, so they do get the kill on any. And we go back here and we see that Timo is actually doing quite some damage. But they do lose fiddle sticks and Timo is actually not going to get anything done here. That is a shame. So they might get yet more damage done. And since the turret is gone, they, yeah, they could have gotten that. Someone should have ran uh, through here or through here, and then um, they had a much better chance of getting something going because the turret was gone. That would have been awesome. I don't know why my computer is still freaking out, but it is, and I cannot really help it. So. Um, yeah, the mushrooms, you can stack three of them at maximum. Uh, you should never have three of them up. You should always have one or two up. Probably one would be the best. Because you can use it in a team fight then. Or you can use it to, uh, well, do whatever you want. Um, the mushrooms do provide vision. And the vision is really useful because then you can uh, place them in bushes and things like that to make sure that you have some visions over the the jungle. And picking up a large amount of minion kills here. Timo is really a, a nice character. He can do a lot of damage. He's not a real carry. Um, I'm not sure why, because. Yeah, it's a, as an AP character he does a lot of damage, but as an AD character he just has some utility for his skills because they don't do a whole lot of damage. And then he does some damage, but not nearly as much as uh, some of the other champions. So for example Ash, uh, she uses her uh, attack damage for other skills as well. So not just the the basic attack but also the volley and yeah that makes that she's more of a carry and she can do more damage based on the amount of attack damage she has and yeah Timo just has his uh, his attack speed and his attack damage uh, on his basic attacks so none of his skills scale with attack damage I'm not sure why Timo is not considered to be a carry, because I think he is really good at uh, killing a whole enemy team. Especially with his blinding dart, he uh, he's a threat to just about anyone. And yeah, his mushrooms with the slow, they make up for anything that he doesn't have. So because he is just slowing down his enemies and you can do a lot of really cool things. You can uh, you can also chase your opponents pretty efficiently. Yeah, switching targets way too often here, especially as Timo. 
because Timo can really just run behind his, or he can just run his uh, his enemies down and probably because of this turret he was probably scared of the turret so they are going to get a free dragon here because they did enough harassment to prevent the opponents from stopping them So Timo is doing uh, just some some more farming. Timo is really good at farming, especially the AD Timo, obviously, because he does more damage with his basic attacks. But it was kind of a messy team fight there, and they didn't get any kills, I think. And that's no problem if you. Except that dragon is your reward for getting that team fight, because well, that's a good reward. There's no problem with that. But if they uh, just focus the any more or the Sona more or the yeah one one of the champions a little bit more, they would have gotten some kills. They would have gotten a free dragon. They might have lost one of the teammates, but sh still, it's. Uh, it's worth it, I think. I think. Um, so we have level five move quick, level five toxic shot, level one blinding dart still, and level two noxic tra noxious trap. An ally has been slain. Yeah, and as he says here, uh, he uh, has been out farming Ash by quite a lot, and they should be comparable. So Ash is not doing. A good job because she got harassed in the in the early game, and okay, not getting anything done. My computer is really still freaking out for some reason. I don't know. May also just be uh, in the replay. Part of it that is, because every time I uh, I watch the top left of my screen, which says how many frames per second it's recording at it says 30 which is exactly what it should be but then I do see the choppy frame rates and well the beginning it did uh, say uh, like 1 at some point and that's not good if it says 1 because then it's more of a slideshow we're watching here Yeah, AD Timo is normally not uh, farming with his, uh, his mushrooms, but if you really want to, you can. Normally the mushrooms are more of a scout and more of a slow, but in this case, because there are a lot of uh, enemy champions here, he just wants to prevent them from running in. And yeah, it makes it easier, of course, to uh, to farm, but it's really not necessary as you two hit all of the minions anyway. And are we seeing? Yeah, we are seeing some uh, someone getting killed. But I don't know what she was doing there. Uh, she shouldn't be there. <laughs> And yeah, he could have probably uh, been there to do some damage at least. But he really needs to place some more mushrooms because all of the mushrooms have been taken out. And yeah, in this kind of bush, you really need to take care of where you place the mushroom because you know people are going to walk through the bush in a certain way. And you can place them either to hit the the opponents or you can place them so that they will stay there for 10 minutes because they will last for 10 minutes which is a huge amount of time in this game and you can use them as, uh, as 10 minute wards with uh, well a shorter range but still they provide a lot of vision since you can you, you can put down I think 42 of them or something like that something ridiculous if none of them get taken out that is
So, um, yeah, item wise, I was looking for the item as a word. Um, item wise, Matters Blood Razors is the big pickup here. Not going for the uh, uh, attack speed boots, which is, yeah, I guess okay ish. Uh, the enemy does have quite a lot of uh, disables and crowd control effects so I guess the mercury strats are a pretty decent item although there are more items available now that give you uh, the tenacity and even though mercury strats is still the number one so it still is the, the item to get if you want uh, tenacity it is not the only solution anymore so yeah I still use it but not on Teemo on Teemo I try to get uh, the the attack speed normally because the attack speed is really strong on him and then I try to get uh, the tenacity from some other item if I need it So this is really good practice, um, or well done I should say, putting down when your buff is going to respawn. Oh, so Sona apparently, yeah she has two Philosopher's Stone, and that's what we saw in the beginning. I mean, we could immediately see that from what she bought as uh, as the her opening items, that she was going to do that. She was going to go for either the Man Manipulator, which isn't a very good item anymore, because it doesn't build into anything real anymore, just to build into... Um, oh, I forgot the name of it. It's, it's a pink heart kind of box and I forgot the name but they removed that item because it was way too popular and it was way too strong and that's why it was way too popular but um, yeah nowadays it just builds into uh, what's it called soul shrouds which really doesn't do anything it gives your, uh, your allies mana that's it the other one gave your you and your allies um, mana and health regen and that was and and it gives you extra life and that was just too good on um, on characters like Sona so the support characters but nowadays the gold items are too good and they are necessary you need to provide some way to make money or to yeah well to collect gold without actually getting minions but they are just too powerful and that's why we see that now they uh, they are uh, they have a unique passive so you cannot stack multiple philosopher stone anymore uh, you can also not uh, take the heart of gold anymore and they already nerfed heart of gold before that because it was just too good and nowadays, yeah, it's more of a Philosopher's Stone than uh, Heart of Gold because Heart of Gold, yeah, they, they really didn't make it uh, cheaper. They made it a little bit cheaper, but not enough. And um, yeah, you have to s you have to wait quite a while to uh, earn back the money, and it doesn't do anything for you in that time. It just gives you like 250 health, where the Heart of Gold used to be 250 health plus uh, something like 18 armor. And yeah, the armor got removed, and yeah, that's because it was way too, way too strong. Especially if you see uh, Hotshot GG going for builds that uh, on Twitch that go uh, 3 Heart of Gold as his first items, yeah that's not the way you want your game to be played you don't want every uh, character in the game to go three hearts of gold 
And we saw on Dreamhack that yeah, everyone went for the gold items. So there were like six of these items on each team. And what they want to achieve is you getting uh, the gold for your uh, support, but they don't actually want to uh, get any of the carries to take these, these items because well they want to have the early game split into multiple types of characters and not just everyone doing the same build but yeah the, it, it seems that the, the lack of game design ability to influence your players makes that this game feels like every champion is the same and that's what I discussed uh, last game all of the uh, the champions whether you're playing uh, Timo or Ash or uh, even LeBlanc or any of the, the carry type characters all play exactly the same and in general everyone except for a few of the uh, uh, the support characters they all need to farm early game so all you are doing early game uh, is hitting minions last hitting minions and avoiding to get hit and well of course every champion has its own mechanism to do so and has its own mechanism to prevent the uh, the enemy from winning the lane but it really yeah it's it's not good enough it all of this, the champions mainly feel the same because there's no real anything else to do except if you're a support character with, because if you're Soraka, we saw that this game if you're Soraka then your goal is to just stand around and heal your uh, carry that is farming and that's it, that's what you're doing and every now and then you can uh, use your Infuse, I think it's called, to uh, get a silence off on the uh, the enemy champion, but that's it. So, also one of the the big things that happens in this game and not in one of the lower games, you see him actually paying attention to what's happening in the other lanes. He is just taking out some minions, and now he has to go back because there's a big fight here. But um, normally he would have taken out all of that and then uh, then gone back to the f to the lane. But now he's just going to clean up this uh, this mess, and hopefully they will be able to uh, get more kills than the opponents. They did lose an oracle here because Soraka did have an oracle. And is he actually going to catch up? He might still. No, he's not going to die. So the flash from Sona preventing her from getting killed. And yeah, he picked up two kills there. Or they as a team. It's three versus three it seems. But most importantly, Sona didn't die. And she had the Oracle. And um, Soraka did die. And she also had an Oracle. So... But they do get a turret, so that is more gold. It's also more gold for Soraka, uh, which is of course a huge deal. Just like the Baron buff is. Baron buff gives Soraka everything she needs, extra XP. Or, uh, yeah, extra XP, extra um, gold and extra uh, AP. But, well, she lost the Baron buff here. And she did buy another Oracle. And wow, actually having to use the flash because well, she didn't pay attention. We saw them going there, and she still ran in. So Timo has uh, used his mushrooms to prevent them from taking the Baron buff without noticing. But for the rest, not a whole lot of mushrooms on the map at this moment. 
because he's using them mainly to uh, to just harass and to uh, farm and I'm not saying that's a bad idea but yeah it does prevent you from having a lot of them on the map to scout so his team is going for dragon here and they already took it out I think yeah it's no longer there so and without any wards because of the oracle um, there's no way they can prevent this, the enemy that is So again, taking out the mushrooms on uh, out the mushrooms, the minions on one of the other lanes. So not just pushing middle lane. We see this a lot in uh, in recent game I cast. There, there has been the tendency to stay middle lane with the whole team and just only push middle lane. And you also need to just keep an eye on your other turrets because if this turret falls, which is almost did uh, it gives another 750 gold to your opponents 150 each and they will probably still take this out but at least it takes a little while longer and someone has to go to it now instead of uh, it being done by uh, by minions what's he doing I don't know. So a huge team fight once again. Timo staying in the back, and that's exactly where he needs to be. He doesn't have a lot of HP, and by now he does have he does have some tankiness because of the uh, uh, frozen mallets and what's this called? Wit's end. He can do a lot more good than he could do in the beginning. And they are going to try to catch this guy. But yeah, he <laughs> he couldn't escape that at all. And Malphite's doing a good job tanking that. He probably has a lot of armor. Yep, he has 214 armor. That means that he doesn't take a whole lot of damage from the uh, turret. And I do get three kills in total. So I think we saw only one, but might have seen two. I don't know. As you might notice, I don't pay too much attention to uh, to the games, or I don't remember what I just saw. That's more of the problem. And yeah, they are going to take out at least the two turrets and probably even the Nexus, but that depends on our uh, Trundle still 45 seconds. So no, they're not going to stop them. Placing down another mushroom to take all, the, all of these minions down. And that means that their super minions can just run in here. And it's not even necessary. They just, they, they got this. Anyway, good game. Thanks for sending it to me. I hope to receive some more uh, high level games. I don't have a lot of high level subscribers, but if you are a little high level, then please send to me whatever you want. And please put in the title what champion you're playing and what your ELO is, if you're higher than, let's say, 1400. Because otherwise, I'm just going to treat it as one of the other games. Which I still like, I mean, don't get me wrong, but I like to have every now and then uh, a higher level game here because then we can see some of the uh, things I point out in the lower level games. We can see them in practice how they change your gameplay and how they change the amount of gold you get and things like that. It's really, it's that simple. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to rate the video, please. And GG.